Hello guys, Brad here again, and today I thought I would do a little tribute video to a reviewer that is quite popular in the fragrance community, and I am of course talking about Christo, whose channel name is Batawi Blood. So I uh, came up with 10 items here that I want to discuss, 10 reasons why I really love this guy's channel, and I'm sure uh, a lot of these reasons are also contributing factors to why you love Christo as well. So let me just go through what I put down here in no particular order. Uh, let's start with the face. Very distinguished face. Um, if you took Mick Jagger, Kevin Bacon, and Kiefer Sutherland's face, threw it in a blender, put it on uh, chop for about five seconds, pulled it out, I think you'd have something kind of like Christo. So, uh, yeah, love the face. Uh, way to go there, Christo. Uh, for the face, number 10. Uh, the voice was my number 9. Very elegant, stately voice. I know one reviewer said he had sort of like a John Malkovich voice, which kind of leads a lot of uh, credence, a lot of uh, authority to his statements, which is really cool uh, to see that. Um, if Krista says, try this, you're going to want to try it. If he says, don't try it, you're going to think twice about trying it. Uh, if, if he says the world is flat, you're not going to want to go uh, sailboat riding for a while. So that kind of thing. So yeah, the voice is number nine. Number eight, tattoos. Legendary tattoos. I'm not sure if he has the most tattoos in the fragrance community, but he has to be right up there. He has so many tattoos, he wants to put a tattoo on a tattoo to make room for that tattoo. So that's pretty awesome, I think. So number eight is the tattoos uh, thing. Um, number seven, I got Sack Oh Shit. We all love the Sack of Shit videos. Uh, just pulls out fragrances out of a Prina cat food bag, I believe, and just tells you what he thinks of these uh, fragrances. Some of them are quite popular, and it maybe does give him a little bit of grief from the viewers, but uh, it's a lot of fun, and I love watching these types of videos, as I'm sure you do too. Number six, I put Lalique White. I'm sure if uh, Christo has one fragrance that he wants to kind of leave with the community in terms of um, sort of like a cheapy but goody under the radar type frag. It might be Lalique White. I've tried it myself, uh, sampled it, did a little review of it, uh, but it was really Christo that uh, brought this fragrance to light in the fragrance community. Um, I know a lot of people have tried it since he's reviewed it, uh, messaged Christo and thanked him for recommending it. And I'm glad to see, you know, Lalique White get some love. Um, before Lalique White was really well known, mostly people thought of Lalique as the uh, basically one trick pony fragrance house with Encre Noir. Didn't really care for that one. And it seems to me that one was popular maybe two or three years back, and nobody really talks about it much anymore, which, in my opinion, is maybe a good thing. Uh, a little bit heavy on the vetiver, in my opinion. Uh, number five. Uh, the fact that he's a teacher. You know, you look at Christo, and you wouldn't think that he's really a teacher. But I think it's pretty cool that he is. Um, I know when I was in high school, my teachers didn't look like Christo. Uh, so I think it would be pretty cool. First day of school, you walk in the building, and there's this guy. Looks like he should be the lead singer of Butthole Surfers um, getting ready to start class. You know, and what kind of school is this anyway, Christo? I mean, uh, what does your driver's ed teacher look like? Joey Ramone or something? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I put that as my number five. Number four, the fact is he's from Indonesia, I believe. He's probably Indonesia's top known reviewer. There might be some other ones. I'm not really familiar with those channels. But it's nice to have an exotic uh, locale for a reviewer. Most reviewers, as we know, are from Canada and, and the United States. And, you know, they kind of all have a similar background in terms of, you know, up bringing and things like that, but, you know, Christo, being from Canada and then transplanted to Jakarta, Indonesia, very cool. So, I put that as my number four, um, number three, and this kind of goes along with being in the culture of Indonesia, is the way he introduced the community to this ladyboy concept. I think that's really weird about this ladyboy thing. I'm not really sure what ladyboys are. Maybe there's videos out there on YouTube that kind of um, do more in-depth detail on what a ladyboy is, but uh, I thought it was kind of funny to uh, 
Eric Christo bring the uh, Ladyboy concept to the fragrance community. And uh, number two, his head-to-head -head segments. Again, those are legendary videos as well. Takes two fragrances, not necessarily fragrances that smell alike, but have a very similar purpose and vibe, and just kind of um, brings up different points and picks the fragrance that does the best job. And then at the end of the head-to-head, -head, declares a winner. So that's a great segment, and uh, those are great videos. Hopefully we'll see more of those um, in the future if uh, Crystal has some time there. And number one, kind of goes along with the sack of shit. I'm not sure if this ended up in the sack of shit or not, but uh, the New Harlem video he did, or the mention of New Harlem, um, the way he kind of bashed it on his channel, I thought that was really cool. If you remember from my channel, I didn't really care for New Harlem myself. I thought maybe a little bit too sweet, uh, maybe a bit feminine. Um, I think uh, Krista said he didn't really care for it because of the lavender note. He didn't think it really fit in. So it was kind of validating to actually hear another member of the fragrance community agree with me that you know New Harlem doesn't really live up to the hype. So hopefully people are going to start, you know, um, getting away from that New Harlem uh, craze there. Maybe you won't see it quite as high on the top ten list this fall and winter. We'll see, though. But uh, that's what I have for now. Uh, thanks, Krista, for all of you done for the fragrance community, the reviews, um, the sack of shit videos, head-to-heads, top tens, uh, everything you've done, uh, your con contributions to Facebook and everything. Um, it's going to be... Uh, a sad thing not to see you show up so much on YouTube, but uh, hopefully we'll be in touch and we'll see you around. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you later.